Hey guys, what's going on? It's Chamber here, and today we are going to be talking about how to properly install Windows 11 in 2024 to stop telemetry as well as use a local account. It feels like every update Windows is just trying to lock you down by things you're allowed to do. Back in the day, especially in the Windows 10 days, you could just choose, I don't want to use a Microsoft account. And now you got to do all these loopholes to actually get past it. There's TPM requirements, there's spec requirements. Mm -hmm. And today we're going to talk about how to bypass all of those, as well as get kind of that security that you want back into Windows 11. Talking no telemetry, no TPM requirements, mm -hmm. having a local account, everything that you want so that you feel secure using your own computer. What are we going to need today? All you're going to need is a 8 gigabyte USB flash drive, preferably a USB 3.0. Also, maybe you want a 16 gig just to make sure like if Windows comes out and it gets bigger in the future, but that's all you're gonna need. So let's get right into the video and talk about how to install it as well as installing Windows. Starting out here, we are going to want to look up Windows 11 install. This is just gonna be how we're actually gonna install Windows 11. Get it from Microsoft directly. You can get it from other places too, but I really wouldn't recommend that. A lot of those places I have used though before and they seem to be safe, but you never really know if there is any modifications done to the actual ISO itself to put like a key log or anything. There are ways to check, but this is just the one way to be 100% secure. So when you're in Microsoft's thing, look up download Windows 11 disk image ISO for x64 devices. We're not going to use an installation media because of the telemetry things I brought up already. So choose Windows 11, download now. Once you do this, just give it a second to load. We are going to select the product, which is, for me, English. Pick whatever language you want and then hit confirm. And then all you're going to do is just give it a second. We are going to hit 64-bit download. After that, I'm not going to do that because I already have mine downloaded. But once this is downloaded, you're going to want to search up Rufus. I will leave a link down below to all these links, by the way, just so that you guys don't have to like search them. They'll be in the video description. Um, you can hit straight download, I guess, on Bing, but it's rufus.ie. Click on that. Um, I'd recommend having an ad blocker enabled for this, actually, just because you don't have all these sketchy download links. But scrolling down, we're going to want to just use the .exe or the portable. I'm going to use the portable just because I don't want it to be installed, but I'm going to wipe this install anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, If you get stuff like this, don't click on it. And then we're just going to open this in the background. Hit no. And then my USB flash drive is already set up. Now that we have Rufus installed, I'm just going to show you real quick that be careful about this drive. Everything will be re like will be wiped off of it. So for example, let's say you have like really cool wallpapers or something, take them off, um, as well as some other files. These are coming soon to you guys, but um, just be careful. Make sure you back these up. I actually am going to back this up onto my desktop. Um, you can just you can put them back on after and we'll talk about that. But for right now, just make sure that everything is off this drive that you do need because you won't be able to get it back. Now that we have everything off of the drive that we need, it's very easy. So we're going to select the device. If you have multiple USB devices, this might show up multiple, but just unplug them all and just keep the one that you're going to use selected. Um, go to select and now go to wherever you downloaded the ISO for me. It's just in my downloads and we're going to use Windows 11. And then this is where everything goes important. Don't touch any of these other things, partition, target, this all doesn't matter. Hit start. You're gonna get all these different options. So remove the requirement for four gigabytes plus RAM, secure boot, TPM. I am going to recommend that you do not select this just because stuff like Valorant actually will not run if you check that. If you don't play Valorant, if you have no plans on playing Valorant, maybe you're fine with that. But with the way I see it as a lot of anti-cheats might have issues with seeing you on Windows 11 and not using Secure Boot. With that being said, I'm pr games like COD are perfectly fine without the Secure Boot and the TPM requirement. When you disable Secure Boot, you're able to overclock your controller on Windows 11. So if you use a controller and you're an aimbot guy and you like that, don't want to have to do any weird bypass, go ahead and do this. Create a local account as well. So you can select this, whatever is, but this is, it'll automatically do whatever you have the account name as right now, but 
for me. That's chamber. Set regional options to the same value as this user. That's something I really like. That way I don't have to change it when I'm already installing it. Disable data collection. Absolutely. And I'm also going to disable BitLocker automatic device encryption just because then if you like update your BIOS, this will sometimes not let you get back into Windows. But I'm going to uncheck the remove requirement because I am probably going to be testing Valorant on this install. So hit OK. And then it'll remind you all dev all data will be blocked. All data will be removed. So hit OK. And now we're going to wait a little bit. This all just depends on how fast your USB stick is. For me, it'll take probably like 20 minutes because I have a USB 2. If you have a USB 3, it will take less. The faster your drive is, the better. If you had something like an M.2 that you could somehow copy it on, that would be good too. But I'm going to come back once this is copied. All right, so now the ISO is done going onto the USB using Rufus. So we can just close this out now. Um, if you have any important files, such as, I don't know. So I will be having like a um, pack coming very, very soon. And a very, very important wallpaper. Once again, very important wallpaper. So we're going to move both of these over. We're just going to copy these over to the drive itself. So basically... Anything now that you put on the drive, you can easily grab off of once you're in your new Windows install. One thing I would highly recommend getting, though, is looking up your motherboard's website. So, for example, I have a Z790i Lightning. If you don't know how to look up your motherboard, go to Windows key and R and type in MS Info 32. You will find something called Baseboard Product. This will tell you what kind of motherboard you have. Look this up on Google. And then you're going to want to go to like your download or your support page. Um, it looks a little different for all of them. And I'm going to recommend you either download your Wi-Fi drivers or for example, for me, my network drivers. So I have a Realtek NIC. So let me find that right now. Realtek LAN driver. So just download that here. It'll show up in the corner. And now I'm going to grab that from the downloads. I wouldn't extract it just to keep it a little bit smaller. And then I'm just going to copy it over. There we go. So once this is all copied over, I will be right back and then we can actually install Windows 11 now. Now that everything is finally moved on to the new drive, so all we can do now is we can just close out of this. Don't obviously remove the drive, but then we're gonna restart. And now we're gonna go to our BIOS. This is just using by spamming that delete key. If you have a 60% keyboard like me, just hit function and backspace, it'll do the same thing. So we're gonna wait until we go to our BIOS now. This is where we're going to change our boot settings. There's obviously some other buttons like F8, F7, F12. It kind of depends on the motherboard. But that is just, this is easier. So go to that boot tab. Let me turn off the webcam so you guys can see. Yep, go to that boot tab. Boot option one. Sandesk for me. Boot option two. I'm just going to disable the Windows Boot Manager for right now. And then I'm going to hit F10 and enter. All we're going to do is we're just changing what boot option we have give it some time to boot up and then we're going to be greeted by this windows option so i'm gonna hit next hit install now don't do a repair or anything once again we've backed up all our files so we have everything saved go to i don't have a product key if you have a product key cool but like just don't um there are multiple options here you can hit windows 11 pro for workstation windows 11 pro if you don't use any apps or windows apps really or like don't want anything pre-installed you also have like the camera photos the store xbox windows 11 pro will have more stuff i'm just gonna do pro for workstation though hit next and then it's going to you just have to hit accept obviously hit next custom so you can do upgrade or hit custom if you do upgrade, this will create a windows.old file with all your old drives on it. But I'm going to hit custom because I like to redo my boot, my bootloader every single time. So I'm just going to hit delete. Um, I just have one drive. If you have multiple drives, don't go and delete everything. So for me, I have drive zero. Drive zero will most likely be your main drive. Just look at the um, size amount and that's how you'll know. So I have drive zero. I'm just going to hit Make sure that I delete everything off drive zero. If I had like another drive, like a, let's say I had like a four terabyte for all my games, I want to make sure I don't delete that because then I have to reinstall all my games. That's just annoying. So I'm going to make sure I'm just deleting drive with the same numbering. So drive zero for this one. After this is hit next. And then we're just going to let it, let it copy all these files, get all them ready. And then we'll be right back.
All right, back. So now that it's restarting, I'm going to recommend that you restart now and then unplug the USB drive. Let me do that. This will just make sure we don't like, you know, get back into the whole Windows install process and it'll just throw us right into Windows. Um, it's just going to take some time to, you know, set things up now and it might restart a couple of times. That's fine. Like, don't worry about any of this. Um, and we'll be right back when we're back at the desktop. If you want to, you can unplug your Ethernet cable so you're not connected to the Internet. I don't really see any purpose to do that. Maybe if you don't want to have an NVIDIA driver install automatically, I'm going to DDU it anyway. So, like, eh, it doesn't really matter to me. But I'll be right back when we're at the desktop. Back in the desktop. So, all we're going to do now is just go to that file explorer and go to this PC. Let's plug back in our drive. The drive is plugged in now, so I'm gonna click on it. And let's see, so I'm gonna grab out my chamber file, my folder, as well as my very important wallpaper. Let's just take another, oh, it's okay. I don't know why it's not popping up now. But now let's just copy these. Um, you could honestly just not copy this one, extract it, extract, give it a second. And then um, just install it normally from here. That's probably what I do. Let's just, there we go. Click on it and then install and run it this way. If you have 7-zip installed, um, you could just also do it through there. But we're just going to do it here. And it's going to go through the install process, especially if you don't have networking. Some other words will do this. It's really annoying that like for some reason it won't work sometimes. I don't know why Windows just isn't that smart sometimes. But yeah, install your driver and then get to installing all your apps, your drivers. Make sure you have the latest GPU drivers. Most importantly, that's going to be the most important on AMD, Intel, and NVIDIA. But after that, you can get back into gaming. And coming soon, we will have a Chamber Tech Windows 11 pack for you guys just to kind of get you guys waiting. So if you haven't already, hit the like button and subscribe. One thing I forgot to mention, sometimes when you restart, you'll be get hit with like a weird like reset your password if you don't want to use a password just hit submit and then boom then you won't be ever asked this again and then you'll be perfectly fine and then you can obviously you know set your desktop background yeah if this video did help you make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe i have a lot of stuff coming out for you guys in the future um let me know if you've installed windows 11 like this before let me know if you use a different way i find that rufus is the best way um, just because you get to not have to deal with all the dumb settings like TPM and having a local account. It's awesome. Links will be down below for you guys as well as the link to join the Discord. Would highly recommend doing that. But I will see you guys later. Peace. Peace.